Listen to me, April, the map, it, I deciphered it. They took, they took it with them, everything, but I, I made a copy over there on the screen. See the flashing cross? That, <clears throat> that's the destination on the map. Some kind of anomaly, I guess. Right next to it, there's a spaceport, the Morning Star. Get up there to the Morning Star. Go to the Morning Star. Do what you have to do now. To Morning Star, do what we have to do. So hello everyone and welcome back to the longest journey with April and Kide. And let's head to the colonies, I guess. At least there are some. Oh, we're definitely going far, even into the space. Hello there. Again. Welcome back, ma'am. How may I help you? Apparently, I want to register as a colonist. I'd like to register as a colonist. Very good, ma'am. You won't regret this decision, I can assure you of that. Right. I'm sure I will. In fact, I already do. Uh, yes, well, we'll do our best <laughs> to find the perfect colony for your tenure after you fill out a simple multiple choice form and... Why not just call it slavery? I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am, certainly not. <laughs> Our colonists are given the best of care and a full salary to go with their assigned tenure. Whatever, uh -huh. I just need to get on a ship that'll take me through to the Morning Star Transfer Station. We do have a ship leaving this evening with colonists bound for Bukamba 8, and that does stop at the Morning Star. But I'd suggest you go through our pamphlets. Sign me up for, what was it, Bukamba 8? That's where I want to go. Uh, all right, ma'am. If you would just hand me your Newport ID card and place your right thumb on that black square, we can get you registered. Sure thing. Sure thing. Absolutely. There. That's it, ma'am. You're registered. Now, if you just take your baggage... No baggage. Nothing, ma'am? Well, you will receive everything you need when you get to the colonies, so no problem. Just head up to gate number one and wait in our lounge. And yeah. I have to remind you that if you choose not to board your ship this evening, you will have committed a corporate offense, and you will be subject to imprisonment. And a nice day to you, too. It's a great information at that point. Yes, if you want to board this ship, you will have... Committed a crime. Well, off to the space. Off to the space indeed. Lovely. Well, I didn't imagine this when we first started though, that's for sure. I certainly did not imagine that we would be... It's chapter 12. Dreamland. Wasn't that exactly what I said in the very start when we started? About the dreamland and all. Yeah, that's well, now we're in the colonies. And diary entry. Um, yeah, long journey indeed. Monday, August 7, 2209. I'm in space. In space! Can you believe that? The trip here went pretty smoothly, all things considered, and by... BM colonist outfit looks pretty sweet on me, believe it or not. But enough with getting around. I got a job to do. I need to get away from this colonist before I actually get shipped to some far off planet. Then I need to rescue the guardian from wherever it is he's being kept. And together we have to get out of here. In the space and open up the wormhole. Once we're inside the guardian's room, we're home free. I hope. I surely hope so. I can say I hope so too. Everybody looks tired and lost. Uh, not too big of a surprise, I guess. Everybody looks tired and lost. Nothing in there. Restaurants, stores, casinos, bars, all designed to squeeze those last precious few dollars out of the colonists' pockets. Well, at least they won't be needing money where they're going. Hmm. It's all big money traps. That's the only reason they keep the colonists waiting here for at least six to eight hours to maximize their spending potential. That's, uh, that's great. That's, uh, absolutely fabulous. And Earth. All the way down there. Earth. I didn't know it could look so beautiful and peaceful. Oh, I would wish if I could see Earth from space too someday, but that's not gonna happen. Mother Earth. Yes, yes it is. 
Well. Okay, ladies room, men's room. I don't think I'll be able to go to the men's room. Everybody looks tired and lost. That's the men's room. A realm of great mystery and foul odors. <laughs> it's the ladies room. That's not the place of mystery then. Of course, well, it cannot be. You've been in the ladies room, but hey, you haven't been in the ladies room in here. Nonetheless, vision trips and afterwards and lodos and whatever. Facts, so lots of more than one suitcase with you. This is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. Okay. Uh, some? If you got more than one suitcase with you, this is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. I wonder why. There's a terminal exit. It's a station guard keeping the colonists out of restricted areas. In other words, making sure we don't get out of this hall. Ah, uh, great. Lovely. Okay. If you got more than one suitcase... Well, let's go and visit in the ladies' bathroom first. That's at least somewhere where we certainly can go. Um, we can have a look into the men's... Locked! It's locked! There are 300 women here and the ladies' room is locked? Good God! <laughs> oh, my dear. Well, I guess we'll try to go to the men's room then. This is one journey I'd prefer not to embark on. Deep breath. Try not to breathe. Well, good luck with that, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay. I shudder to think what's been done in this. <laughs> it's filthy. It's a garbage can. Oh, again a garbage can that we can look into. Instant heat. For that special moment when manly vigor is required. Fast. Ha! Their secret revealed! <laughs> okay, if you say so. I don't even want to find out. I don't even want to find out. I don't even want to find out. Yeah, you don't, but... Uh... I'll... Go some other time. I just make sure... Uh... That there's no one uh, in here. Yeah, okay, good. I'll... Go some other time. To purchase instant heat, the number one source of manly vigor, <laughs> please insert a cash or credit chip now. Huh. I'm orange. Yes, it seems like it. Huh. Well, unless we have a cash card? Guess we want Thank some. Thank you for purchasing instant heat. The number one source of manly vigor. Right. Please be advised that excessive use of instant heat, the number one source <laughs> of manly vigor, can cause involuntary spasms and discharge. Right. Okay. Very weird. Instant heat. I think that's like the number one source of manly vigor, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this, this makes me feel a little bit suspicious. Um, uh, we can try to eat one for whatever reason. Ugh, no! I was thinking that too, that you don't want to do that, I right? I feel like I'm spending my entire life pushing trash from one place to another. Weirdest thing, that. Yes, it is indeed. Ah. Hey, hmm. looky, it's a hole in the wall, cleverly concealed. You gotta hand it to them. They know security. Very, very, very well indeed. Get my hands dirty? I think not. I just want to make my sure. Get my hands dirty? Good, good. I think not. It's a grill covering what looks like a narrow passage. Okay. And it's probably not going to be this easy to get off. It's screwed tight. Curse the day I traded away my <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> well, I guess we kind of have to trade it away. But I doubt we can use anything in here to get through it. I would assume. It's locked. Hmm. Everybody looks tired and lost. Um, I don't think there's anyone in here we could try to be talking to. I don't know if there's anything in any of these bags. Huh. It's a station guard. 
I don't think we can, of course, go into there. I'm just going to close, go a little bit closer. We can hey, see what he does or you says. You can't pass through there, colonist. Right. If you got more than one suitcase with you. But uh, none of these were. Huh. Something that I could try to like uh, do something about. I would just think that somewhere in there would be a screwdriver in one of the packages or something, but kind of feels a little bit doubtful, perhaps. I'm just gonna try this for fun. Why not? I guess he's not around. Yes, but just uh, just the packs are making me a little bit hmm. Why couldn't there be in packs something? Coin. Coin coin. Huh. Just so... Uh, hmm. Why can't there be something that I could try to be looking in these? And I cannot talk to any of these and cannot talk to this card. For a fact. Well, I don't know. Maybe there isn't anything in here. Can I go into a shop? All big money trap. That's the only... Yeah, but why wouldn't there be a possibility to go to one of those shops then? Hmm, maybe there is, but I just didn't figure it out yet. I guess that's also a possibility. No. Hmm. Like, I'm quite certain. Ugh, no! I didn't think so, but... Just making... Okay. Oh, okay, I can use coin into that. Just gonna try this here too, just because why not? As said previously. I guess he's not around. Well, I didn't quite expect this to work, but I guess it will then. Hmm. Oh, good, so. Okay. Now. I hope you have the other clothes too. There's a light at the end of the Why? tunnel. Looks like it leads into a larger ventilation or service duct of sorts. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, here we are indeed then. Um, if only I could make some sense out of this, but yes, good. Okay, okay. I can see here. Men's room. We're in here. And there would be the service duck exit too. Service duck exit. Okay, I guess this is how we can say where we go, just in the map. Uh, those are the places where we can at least go. But I just want to have a look that there's nothing else in here, in the tunnel. Hmm. Can I just like indeed express that I would go into here? Apparently so. It's one of the station guards. Hmm. Not while there's somebody in the room I can't. Hmm. It's a coffee mug. Not while there's somebody in the room I can't. Okay. These what tunnels go on for miles and miles. Before I risk getting lost, I should at least know where I'm heading. Okay, good. Now I at least know that that's also something that uh, it works like this indeed. What about in here then? Okay. This doesn't look very safe either. How does it? It's a surveillance camera. Yeah. It's connected to the station feed via an optical cable. Yes, great. Yeah, not too surprising that he would be looking into that. What's going on? Who's there? Hey, hold on, stop right there. No, I don't wanna stop right there. I don't wanna. Uh... It's a coffee mug. Somebody's uh... playing solitaire. The camera I disabled is still out. No time for that now. The guard could be back at any moment. Yeah. No time for that now. The guard could be back any moment. 
Well... The guard's out there looking for me. I'd better leave the way I came. Okay. I guess that's too late now. What the heck are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. You're going back to the pen with the other colonists, Missy. Okay. Well, I guess I have indeed very limited amount of time to try to do this stuff, but it's kind of weird if they haven't blocked this way now, in all reality. Kind of really weird, but it's of course when I can in no way have a way of knowing what I'm supposed to- Hey, there was a coffee mug. Yes, now I know what I need to do. I know. Okay, I'm gonna just do this again. Of course, I want to kind of have a look if there's anything else I can do here. Uh, far corridor. Left corridor. Yes, just uh, do this quickly again, please. And then just... Uh, <laughs> uh, I would think that he would be kind of very weirded out about this sort of... Uh, thing happening all the time, but we have those uh, pills for a reason, don't we? What's going on? Who's there? No one. Hey, hold on, stop right there. <laughs> uh, it's very weird that they're not doing anything about the situation, even though they know that I'm just playing around here like this, which is kind of like, really? Really? Yes, but what enough? Ah, uh, what the hell? I'll use all of them, just in case. It's not as if I'm gonna be needing them myself. Nope. Surely not. Let's go back to the hatch. Ah, uh, let's go have a look how the situation is going, I guess. Is he going to be drinking it anytime soon? I wonder. I spiked the guard's coffee with a bit of synthetic leaven. Yes. It's one of the station guards. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> this doesn't taste right. I feel... Mary, mother of God. I really feel... God damn. Madam Joy's pleasure suites on the promenade had better be open. This constitutes an emergency. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, See you later. Alligator. Hmm. But I would think that you should be able to have your own coat. It's Clothes. an official looking coat. Yes, that's at least a good thing. There's something in one of the pockets. Hmm. But what? It's a Safe. short and thin cylinder. A magnetic key, I believe. That might come in handy. Yes, that is very true. It's a magnetic key. Good, good. Hmm. I think this is a registry of all the prisoners on the station. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Cell block registry. Cell number one, Agusty Bryan. Cell two, Ruth Pawani. Cell three, Morgan Enger. Cell four, Hammer Hansen. Cell five, reference G. Holloway. G. Holloway? Gordon? That's gotta be it. The Guardian's in cell number five. Huh, interesting. It's a bank of security monitors connected to cameras around the station. What about this terminal? Before we look at this. Solitaire. Oh yes, of course. Okay, well, secure the map then. So, okay. This is an airlock guard, cell block, cargo bay guard, and um, rest area? I guess it's this one. Yeah. It was red after all. Let's just save before going anywhere else. Um, what does the cargo bay look like? I, well, let's have a look in the cell block first, I guess. Huh. Preposition. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Hmm. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Huh. Interesting. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Wow. 
Why can't I go through that? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if this is the right way, but maybe. I would assume that the cell... Well, this is the cell block indeed, so... I guess it was the number... Uh, was it number five? Hmm. I noticed that there was this conversation block, but... I wonder... Yeah, it's keeping this in here. Ah, <laughs> this kind of information is not that it's going to help me right now, but... Yeah, this is the only one that I can try to do something with, so I guess I'm gonna head there. First of all. It's an electronic lock with a sliding cover. Well, we do have this for a reason. To be continued with Kida Russia in the longest journey.